let's start with preparations before a video conference. Proper planning can head off a lot of potential problems. Number one, do a test run with fellow employees to make sure everything works, and more importantly, that you know how to use the video conference tool. If you'll be sharing your screen for a proposal or inviting in additional speakers, practice doing so ahead of time so that the presentation is seamless. Go over ground rules and the agenda with other presenters so it is smooth and professional. Number two, plan for technology to fail and then hope it doesn't. Email an agenda and your proposal to everyone in the call three to four days prior to the meeting. That way, if something doesn't work, like video or screen sharing, you can still move forward. Number three, make sure your computer is fully charged or plugged into an outlet. Number four, prepare for unforeseen interruptions. Find a location where you won't get interrupted, especially if you're working from home. Turn off the ringer on your phone, put pets in another room with a toy, and have someone watch small children. If you have background noise on of any kind, make sure to mute yourself or others if needed. Number five, email a confirmation a day ahead of time, reminding your client that they should try to have computer access with video. And finally, number six, set up your video conference profile ahead of time so that you have a headshot or company logo visible when people log in. Remember, the best strategy for a successful outcome is proper planning. If the use of video conferencing is new to you, then you can't over-prepare.